President Trump issued a permit today that allows for construction of the Keystone XL pipeline. Pipeline supporters applaud the president, while opponents call the action unlawful. Q2's David Jay has more on the presidential permit. David. Well, Janelle, the new permit rescinds previous presidential permit that was issued two years ago. In a lawsuit, uh, the U.S. District Judge had ruled that the State uh, Department needed a more thorough environmental review. The new permit is issued by the President while the State Department issued the old presidential permit. The new permit also leaves out a statement that the project is subject to limitations, terms, and conditions issued by U.S. government agencies. The lead plaintiff in the Northern Plains Resource Council and Sierra Club lawsuit says the new permit appears illegal and is unprecedented. To be perfectly honest with you, I was just waiting for this president to do this. I was waiting for this to happen. I was pretty sure it was going to. He has a right to vacate the permit, but he can't do an in run around the court system. He has to understand that the judicial has powers too, and he can't just disagree with everything in any branch of government that he doesn't like. Mike Summers of the American Petroleum Institute says that the Keystone XL pipeline has passed every environmental review conducted over the last decade under both the Obama and Trump administrations. Meanwhile, TransCanada's Russ Gerling says the environmental reviews are clear. The project can be built and operated in an environmentally sustainable and responsible way. Northern Plains a spokesman says the organization needs to look closer at the permit before deciding what to do. And according to the Wall Street Journal, TransCanada has not said yet if construction will happen this year. Janelle? All right. Thanks so much, David.